What's up guys, this is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out some of the biggest changes that iOS 13, aka iPad OS 13, brings to iPads, including a refreshed home screen design and improvements to multitasking. So straight off the bat here, you can see the home screen on the iPad looks quite different than what we're used to. You can see we're actually able to view the widgets page right here on the home screen in landscape mode on the iPad, which is a very nice change. You can see all this information right here. You could actually pin it to the home screen in landscape so it stays here. If you go to the edit button at the bottom here, you could actually see there's this toggle to always show it. And if I turn it off, basically how it works with it off is I can hide it just by swiping on the home screen just like that to the side and then reveal it just like that with that nice animation as well. So uh, again, just very nice change there. And in terms of the portrait orientation, uh, you could still access it in this orientation, but it's more of an overlay versus actually it being pinned. So you can see how it works just like that. And if you have it locked so it's turned on, I'll show you. I'll uh, we'll scroll down here and turn it on. When you go into portrait mode, when this toggle switch is on, you can see it actually just hides just like that. But when you go back into landscape, you can see it reappears. Next up, I want to talk about the icon layout here. So you can see it's actually been upgraded to six by five. So six going across and five going down rows. So you could fit a lot more applications on each page. And that's always been something that's, you know, kind of bothered me about the iPad. We have this humongous display and, you know, we, in the past, we weren't able to fit as many app applications as I think we should be able to, but iOS 13 thankfully has addressed that. So next up, I want to touch on some of the major improvements to slide over and split view on iOS 13. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into an application. I'm going to go into Safari in this case, and I'm going to go ahead and open up an application in slide over. So this is normally how it's done. You basically drag up for the dock and you can pick any application. I'm going to do calendar and pop it up into this slide over view just like this. So this is pretty much all what we're used to. We could access these two apps at the same time now. However, now with iOS 13, I can actually have multiple applications ready to go in slide over and I could basically switch between those applications easily. So let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to bring up the dock again and I'm going to bring over another application. This time I'm going to go ahead and bring up notes over here and I'm going to drag it in the same area just like this and now this is the application that I have in slide over however if I go ahead and drag on this little bar down here it will allow me to quickly cycle through those applications that I have and if I drag up on this bar here you could see it'll show me all the applications that I have open in this slide over view and I could easily switch between them like this and even close them if I wanted to just by dragging up like that so, so this isn't just limited to two here so let me go ahead and bring up the dock again I'll put notes back in there and we could bring up another application. So same thing, just drag it right over to this area. And again, I could cycle between all these applications just by swiping here, you could see like that. And again, get that view by sliding up just like that. So it just helps you be productive by being able to easily navigate many different applications quickly. So this is one of the biggest improvements to iOS 13 on the iPad in regards to multitasking. However, another one is the ability to open up two different instances of the same application at the same time. So I could be working on two different separate windows of, for instance, the notes application at the same time. So let's go ahead and open up notes here. And basically, let's say I wanted to work on two of my notes at the same time. So now with iOS 13, I'm able to do that. So I could drag up the dock here and I could grab the notes application from the dock and actually pull it over into split view. And you could see right here, now I have two split view of the same application. So you can see right here, uh, you know, I'm, let's say I choose this note on this side over here. I could be working on this. Uh, no problem and I can actually make a new note on the other side just like this and you know be working on this over here so again it's two separate instances of the very same application and this can be very useful I could already see you know many different use cases for this I mean just being able to work on two notes at the same time makes a whole lot of sense and this very same concept also applies to slide over of course you could see I could have the you know separate or the second instance of notes here open in this slide over view as well if I wanted to do that another really cool feature in iOS 13 is the ability to shrink the keyboard so for instance uh, let's say I'm using my iPad maybe with one hand and, uh, you know, it'd be easier to do this vertically. Basically, what I could do now is just shrink the keyboard by pinching it like this. You can see it turns to the size of an iPhone keyboard. So if I'm holding my iPad like this off to the side, it's much easier to type like this with the smaller keyboard versus the larger one. So that's kind of a cool little feature there. And you, have, you could, of course, just pinch to make it large again, just like that. And that, of course, also works in landscape mode, just like that as well. So that's a pretty neat little feature there that struck me as interesting. And guys, those are just a few of the features found in iPad OS 13. I just want to show you guys a few of my favorite ones there's so much more to be seen with ipad os 13 but yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more apple content once again thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out